guys, and back to my channel. Hope everyone's having a phenomenal day today, or night. It's night. It's late at night. I'm so sorry, sissy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard, she just like sniffed at me. He's like, I hate you. Um, but today I'm excited mostly because I want to touch some of the things that are in here because I want to do videos and some of the stuff that's in here, so I'm doing an Ulta haul. I literally, I literally, before, I literally, 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 16 million times. Um, no, but I was just telling my sister because I, when I start to film these videos, I always announce what it is that I'm filming. So when she pulls them up, she knows exactly what it is from the get-go. And I was like, this is Ulta. I don't want to talk about what number this probably is. Thank goodness we don't number them. Do you month them? Do you put a month? She just puts a month. Praise the Lord. Um, but yes, today we're going to do an Ulta unboxing. And I actually don't remember ever what's in these boxes. I open them the second they get in, and then they go into a corner, and then eventually they come into a filming whenever. Um, but before we do that, I'm actually going to pop them over here because I'm actually going to light the candle for the first time. Look at how cute this candle holder is. I don't know if you remember the Bath & Butter Works haul that I got this from, but I got this from Bath & Butter Works and it's so cute. And I will I'm not to... be linking down the cards because I'm not going to figure that out. Yeah, no. I don't know if it's still even available. I know mine. I literally, I think, bought like one of the last two they had in my store. Um, and then I'm using Bergamot Waters. I don't know if that's focused. I don't really care. It smells good. What does it even smell like? It smells like I love reading Bath and Water Works descriptions just because they're so obnoxious. Lush blend of blue bergamot waters. What the fudge is a blue bergamot water? Is the bergamot like decaying in the water and that's what makes a bergamot water? I don't know. Yes. Creamy sandalwood. When did sandalwood become creamy? And a hint, just a hint, of sugared citrus. What kind of citrus? Is it an orange? Is it a lime? How about a grapefruit? It's a sha sha sha. It's a sha sha sha. I love that. Yeah, then teach me that in grammar class. Okay, let's light this candle. I love how I like literally put it down before I lit it. I'm not. I'm gonna light myself on fire one of these days. Please don't. Oh Lord, let me not. There's something so satisfying about lighting a brand new candle. Also, if you hear this weird noise. Um, I now decided that we're gonna have white noise in all of my videos. No. Um, it's five million degrees and I care very little. Let me not burn the box. Um, if you guys can hear that I have a fan on, if it bothers you, bye. I don't care, I'm five million degrees hot. I live next to the sun. Okay, let's get into this ultra box because I really want to open it because I don't remember what's inside. Thank you. Thank you for what? I said I remember. Oh, she, my sister always remembers. She got the memory. I don't know what I got. She's the oldest. I got nothing. I got gypped. Like, I saw, like, a post and someone was like, the youngest gets, like, typically is, like, the smartest and prettiest. And I was like, no. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that. I definitely don't agree with smart. All right, inside the box. So, one of the things, okay, no joke. I always talk about value sets and that I don't include bag value into value sets because I never really buy a set for, like, a bag. I bought, two, I bought two sets for bags. They're so cute. I didn't care about what was inside of them. I kind of did. Most of it I didn't. One of them, literally, I don't remember a thing that's inside of this bag. I just really wanted the bag. Let's get into it. So, this is the one that I really did. I actually don't remember what's inside of this. and I'm going to figure it out in two seconds when I flip it. Um, this is from Benefit Cosmetics. This is their Sun Kind of Wonderful. I love that pun. Sunny Highlighting and Bronzing Set. Probably will need nothing in here. I probably own everything that's in here. Let's see. But this is it. <coughs> it's Roller Lash. Bless you, sissy. Hula High Beam. And is that Shy Beam? Shy Beam. So it's got High Beam, Shy Beam. So one is the matte finish and one is the shimmery kind of finish. $71 value. $71 value. I don't think I got two says on the cap, but I'd have to look it up. But no joke. I bought it because the bag is so cute. I have to open him. I'm going to stab myself because this is a plastic. I hate plastic containers. Retails for $32. He's a retail $32. I spent $32 because I wanted a bag. Well, the rest of the bags are normally $26. So it's really not yeah. that bad. So, in con I have to be very considerate of the fact that I know Benefit, like, granted, any company can charge whatever they want for anything. Hello, the $45 bag that came in FabFitFun specifically for a bikini because you're always going to have the time where it's inconvenient to have what bikini? $45 bag. Benefit typically sells this size of makeup bag for $26, but Benefit does have really good bags. They're really nice and sturdy, and I've never had one, like, I always end up breaking these little tassel thingies, and I've never had one break on me on a Benefit bag. But look how cute he is! I can't. 
can't. I love him. It just says, like, laughter is the best cosmetic, so a grin and wear it. Looking good is the best revenge. That's funny. <gasps> what? What is that? Like, you just break up with your boyfriend? You're like, okay, I'm going to look extra hot so the next time you see me you can be like, wow, I missed out on that. Yes. No. Um, hey, girlfriend, you're beautiful. Okay. Whatever. I mostly like the color and the fact that it had little flowers on it. But it comes with... Okay, it has to have mini of the hula. It has to be the mini hula. Yeah. Here's all the stuff. Bam. I don't want to drop them. Alright, so let me pop them away because he'll go into a future video so we can find out if he's actually worth his value. We will see. He probably actually is because the bag's worth a lot. Okay, maybe right along. This candle smells so good. Also, this fan is right over here, so it's literally driving me crazy. It keeps shuffling all of my hair. Next thing. No one cares about this. This is the fucking return stuff. Um, next thing I bought because, again, oh, it's a gimmick. I know the bag's a gimmick, and I don't care. I wanted it because it's cute. I got the Benefit Boing Erase Case. And I know they're selling this in stores because I've seen it. They sell, they don't sell this one. They only sell this one for Ulta. They sell this one at Sephora and Ulta because I was literally in a Sephora today and they had it. Um, but look how cute he is. He's a little pencil bag and he's literally completely useless. Like this is, this would never hold my makeup. This would literally, if I was still in like high school or maybe if I was in college, I would be able to use this as a pencil case. But I would never use this. I, literally, it's going to sit in my background. I literally bought it because I wanted the cute benefit case to sit in my background. Except for this uh, says retarded. I'm just going to let you know. It says he's worth $26. Oh, yeah. No, we're going to talk about that because we're actually, I'm going to be filming that later on after I film this video. <laughs> I'm actually going to do an incident really on this because it's $26, and I'll tell you its value later. Um, but it has the complete boing line because they renamed everything like Fake Up, and I don't remember the other ones. I only used Fake Up, and that was it. Um, but it's got the boing airbrush concealer, the industrial strength concealer, the brightening concealer, and the hydrating concealer, which used to be Fake Up. But yeah, that's him. He's so cute, and I can't wait to actually do a video with him. This where it actually says the Boing Erase case on there. It's so cute. So, I can't. I can't with it. It's only $22. And again, like, I don't know if Benefit would sell this one for $26. They probably would. I would. It's a pretty sturdy look of case. Moving right along. So another reason we decided to buy both the bags, because you had to spend $40. And you got this cute little bag. Lots of the little, the little doohickeys. If I was still eight years old, I'd be going to my American Girl collection dolls. <laughs> if my sister was eight, it'd still be in her American Girl collection dolls. The only thing I hate about this, which of course we wouldn't know from the picture, and it's not like it says in the description, is that it's velvet, which means he's literally going to be pretty much a display case. Like, I'm never going to actually use this. Like, he might store something, but he's never going to be a traveling makeup bag because uh -huh. you would get disgusting in, like, 20 seconds of me putting you in my purse. Because I don't know what's in my purse. I've stabbed myself. Does anyone else, like, get stabbed when they go in their purse? Because, like, I do, like, every time, and I don't know what it is stabbing me. It's like I have a creature living there gnawing on my fingers. Don't know. Cute bag. Love it. Also, I don't know if I... Did we open it? No. We did not open those. I wonder what he looks on the inside. Is he cute? He's so black. He's black. Oh. Ew. <laughs> but it does have the cute little benefit tag on the inside right there. Ew. Ooh, little benefit tag in a silicone thing. Ugh. No. We're just going to leave that in there. They're supposed to be great for drawing out moisture, which is why I get why companies put them in all their stuff, because ain't no one want to send someone a moldy thing. How much money do you think they spend on those things in here? That's crazy. I don't... Probably not much. I don't think they're worth very much. Also, side note, I do have Ipsy vs. Sephora hopefully coming for you guys. I don't know when that video is actually going to get shot or how it's going to get shot because I have to contact Sephora because it, one of my perfumes that were inside the Sephora play box busted and it's literally shattered all in the bag and if I were to try to like dip my hand in there, I would literally cut my fingers open. I'm so glad my sister like one of the first things she pulled out of there when she opened it was that perfume bottle. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh. I literally had my hand in there earlier. I wonder why it smells like a whorehouse. Yep. But did you say it's not like a whorehouse? Oh my god. It's not like a whorehouse. 
Oh, I love it. Um, next thing, because I think this is also, I think he spent $35, $45. dollars yeah, yeah. You spent something, they sent you a free mini roller lash. Now we have two. Now we have two. Um, I have not tried roller lash in a really long time, and I know they just did a collab with like five different YouTubers, and I think it was Jeffree Star. This is like his favorite mascara. Whatever. Also, I hate that they did that collab with those YouTubers, and it's like, oh, they got limited edition packaging. It's literally the trash. The trash is what has their face on it. It's like, could they have signed, like, put their signature on the bottle or something? Like, their autograph? Nope. Bunny did that. Bunny did that, yeah, on, no. Tarte? Yeah, on the... Yeah, but the Tarte palette is a palette, for one, on and it lipstick. has her logo. Oh, yeah, on her lipstick, yeah. It did have her signature on her lipsticks. Um, but, yeah, the palette. These, they do not have signatures. At least I have not seen anything on the physical packaging that they have on those. Do I see an actual, like, notification? Like, this separates it from anything else. Next thing. Um, so I wanted to spend, because you had to spend, how much to get this? Was it 60? Something like that. 60, because I think it was supposed to be worth, like, 50. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to spend $60, so we get this one free thing. This is not the free thing. If this was the free thing, I would not have spent $60. Um, but this got me up to the $60 range. Um, I decided because I love Husk. Um, I got the Husk Argan Oil from Morocco, because that matters. Um, repairing a deep conditioner, because my hair is extra thirsty lately, because I've been mean to it, because I've been drying it out. And he was also summer, on sale. And he was on sale. So that's cool. But yeah, I've been drying out my hair a lot lately, and it didn't help that I had to wash it like a frick ton the last couple weeks, because we went, we went in like chlorine water, which is not good for your hair. Moving right along, the samples that they gave me, which I was actually, eh, they were okay. I hate these little poor professional samples, like, um, I'll take it. No, I'm going to hand that to her that. later. I'm going to end up tossing it at the camera. Um, but I did like this one. This is the NARS blush. This is a, it's orgasm, right? Ooh. Yeah, NARS orgasm. So it's an orgasm sample. This at least will get used. Also, I think we own orgasm from a set. We do. I don't know where it is either. Terrible human. Okay, this is the last thing, which was if you spent $50, $60. I think it's supposed to have a $50 value. You got... This lovely little set from Tarte. I love when Ulta does that because they literally just go like, we'll give you this if you spend this much money. I'm not like these because two of these products in here are full size. One of them is the travel size and I know they sell this one as well. Um, oh. But I've also never tried two of these. So they send... One of the items is their Tarte Brow Architect Brow Gel and Crayon. Do they have shade numbers? How the fudge do you not have shade numbers? I'm gonna have to open this. So that is what he looks like. It's like their normal like Amazonian line. Um, it scares me the fact that it doesn't have a shade number because that typically means that it's universal. There are no universal brows. I hate to break it to you. There's no universal shade. Like even Benefit, like shade three is typically the most like bought shade because it's like the most universal uh, but not everyone's the freaking same everyone has different eyebrows different hair colors okay so let's see what this looks like my first instinct is not to swatch it's to sniff it terrible human it looks a lot i think a lot of people use the same technique it's like a teardrop that is not coming in very well just because he's so tiny um but yeah it's like a little teardrop shape and it just, this looks dark. And this looks, it's not like, when I like, like, my Benefit one, my Cabra, I use shade 3. And it has, like, red undertones in the brown, so it matches my hair nicely. This looks like it has gray undertones in it, and I'm not, like, 80. Okay, let's watch this. My sissy's over there laughing. I'm not kidding. Um, I don't hate him, but because this looks similar to Goof Proof, this is definitely not as smooth feeling as Goof Proof. That's him. Meh. He's okay. I don't hate him. And then on the other side, it is a clear setting gel. It smells like chemicals, like every other clear setting gel I've ever used. It smells like nothing like chemicals. Um, I don't hate this. I'll probably give him a go, but I'm not like overwhelmingly excited. Like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. But I want to say he's worth $24. Yeah. He was free. He was free, so I'm not going to pass it free. I like them. Um, this one is not going to get used. My sissy might use this. You might use this. 
this week. Um, this is the Tarte Man Eater Self Sharpening Eyeliner. Ooh. So I want to say he's worth like twenty. I think he's worth twenty. He's in the twenties. He's low twenties. Um. And it's in the shade black. I don't know if they actually have different colors of the Man Eater. I think Man Eater only comes in black. I just scared myself because of something in the corner that's really like reflective. And so the reflective packaging off Man Eater just reflected off of it. And then it's like, I don't know. It's good garbage on me. Um, I do love their packaging for the Man Eater line. Because this is black and then has the little leopard spots on it. Super duper cute. Oh, it twists off. Oh, that's weird. I don't like that. Why do I go to sniff it immediately? It smells disgusting. Okay, it doesn't smell disgusting. It smells like a box of Crayola crayons. It's a Crayola crayon. But that is him, and it's self-sharpening, whatever the fudge. He's very creamy. He's nice, but I just don't typically use eyeliner very much because I don't like what it does to my eyes because it really closes off my eye, and I already have, like, I don't want Asian eyes. I already get that look enough to myself. And then the last thing that came with it was the Tardis Mascara. Which I love the stuff. This is the mini Tardis. I love this. It's in like my top five. I think it's still in my top five mascaras. Um, and I think that is, is that it? That is it! Yay! But that's it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to get notifications on when my videos get uploaded because, yeah, stuff has happened in like early August in jazz like that. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when my videos actually get uploaded. And if you want to follow me on my different forms of social media, there will be links in the description below for that. If you have not entered the back to school giveaway that is still going on, it's going all the way until August the 31st because I think every most of the country and America goes to school after Labor Day, right? I feel like that's pretty much everyone. I think like, what is it, Florida? I don't know. There's a couple of states I think that have already gone next to all. But yes, yeah, so make sure you enter that. It's super fun. There's lots of stuff. I'm not going to pull it all out because it's like too much stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's it guys. Stay boxy.